שלום וברוכים הבאים לערוץ טוב. עד כמה סוגיית המיסיון רלוונטית לחיינו? אנחנו חיים כאן במדינה יהודית עם רוב יהודי בטוח ויציב, אבל מסתבר שמדובר בתופעה אקטואלית. ישראל קולטת אליה כל הזמן אין ספור אנשים שמגיעים לרחובותינו ומנסים לשכנע יהודים. להתנצר. זאת, זאת המציאות שבה אנחנו חיים, ובנושא הזה אנחנו נאמר היום שלום לרב טוביה זינגר מארגון הסברה יהודית, Jewish Outreach. ש- 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 שלום הרב זינגר, how are you? Thank you very much for having me. So I was instructed by the guys uh, in, in the control to discuss the issue of mission, of missionary, right. and I was asking myself as a Jewish, as a religious Israeli who lives here, I don't find this topic particularly relevant, but you come here with news about what is actually going on in the streets of Israel on this topic. How is this relevant? Right. So this is in Israel a cancer, and it's a stage four. And for your viewers wow. who don't know, there is no such thing as stage five. Mm-hmm. The problem here is very significant because Christian missionaries are coming here to Israel to convert the Jews. Lama? Because they believe that in order for Jesus to make a second coming, the Jews, you, have to convert to Christianity. And that's why they're coming here specifically. They believe that Jews have to be in the land of Israel in order for Jesus to make a second coming. That's why these Christians are very pro-Israel. Mm. These are not like the Catholic Church. This is not the Pope. These are Protestant Christians. And they believe that the Jews are very unique in that they have to become Christians in order for Jesus to make a second coming. So- What you're basically t- talking about several foundations of the Christian faith or uh, specific shades of the Christian faith is that first of all, they couldn't care less if, if uh, I don't know, if, if Hindu people from Asia would become Christians. They might care, it might make them happy, but it's not crucial for them right. as Jews in Israel. Jews right. that reside in Israel must become Christian right. in order for whatever they believe to be uh, the concept of Geula uh, uh, to become real. Now, how extensive is the phenomena? How many people come here in order to convert? And what is the, is the size of the audience that they manage to convince to some extent? Yeah, so the estimates are wide, but probably almost 400,000 Jews mm. worldwide have become Christians by this effort. All over the world. In Israel, it's tens of thousands of Jews who have been converted. But they know, this is very important for your viewers to know, they know it's not easy to convert Jews. And they have to speak in a special way to Jewish people. So they, I brought with me, this is a, a training manual mm-hmm. on how to share the gospel with a Jew, how to convert Jewish people. You're going, what does this mean? Uh, I must ask. Let me yeah, take a look take at, a look at this. As, 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 a, as a, a observant Jews yourself and myself, I, I've seen such texts in the, in the past. I, I find them completely irrelevant for my language. It is not as if someone made a research about what I believe in and right. wrote a text as well to convince me. It seems that these texts are oriented towards the careless or the ignorant, people who don't care about Judaism right. that, right. that much. You said a very important thing. You said language. Mm. This comes from the training manual and it tells you the language how to speak to a Jew. On the card it says don't say mm. and do say. Mm. Language. Don't say Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. It doesn't sound Jewish. Say Yeshua, Yeshua HaMashiach. Mm-hmm. That's not bad. Say say don't say convert we don't want you to convert become a messianic jew so it's very much you stay about a jew you remain a jew you yes, remain your own faith be a you jew that- everything you want you want to wear a kippah tzitzit mm-hmm. anything you want to you just believe in yeshua hamashiach you go to a messianic congregation you know how many messianic congregations there are in tel aviv in jerusalem in the heart believe you no, so many. many missionaries all over. They know that in order for Jesus to make a second coming, the Jews have to be converted. They have, I just brought this with me here. This is a, this, you, your viewers won't even believe what this book is. This is, this is a New Testament, but it's in Hebrew and in Yiddish. Habrit HaChadasha, Bivrit, and Debrit HaChadasha. So you have Hebrew, Yiddish, New Testament, to convert Jews, elderly so Jews. So this is a book that particularly was printed in order to convert Jews. There oh, is yeah. no other reason. You can say that there is Brit Chadasha in Hebrew for research purposes, purposes, etc. This is not and cannot be the case. The only reason to print it in Yiddish 
next to Hebrew is in order to convert. There is yes. no justification whatsoever. Robert, if I want to ask you, you have occasional meetings with such, uh, uh, I don't know how to call them, missionaries, emissaries of, of, of their own faith in Israeli streets. Let's take a look at, the, at one of them that happened in Jerusalem just uh, a while ago. Let's, uh, let, let's... You say you also believe in Jeremiah and Ezekiel. Ah, now we're talking. What did they prophesy? They prophesied that the innocent shall not die for the sins of the wicked. Ezekiel chapter 18, verse 21. If the sinner shall turn away from his sinful ways, he will surely live. Is it my desire at all to punish the wicked? Is it not that he return from his sinful ways that he may live? It doesn't say John 14, 6, I am the way, the truth, and the life. It doesn't say God so loved the world, John 3, 16. It specifically says repent and God will forgive you. Are you ready to receive this word of God today and repent of Christianity? That's what Ezekiel says. Jeremiah says in chapter 31 that the innocent cannot die for the sins of the wicked. This is an abomination. Human sacrifice is opposed by the God of Israel. That's why we believe what we believe. We're willing to die rather than to accept the religion that you propose. Can you, can you show me in the talk where it says that the innocent shall not die? Yeah. You have believed in Moses. You would have believed in me. John chapter 5, what? verse 46. It says it in the Tanakh. It, uh, yeah. The, it, no, it, it doesn't. Deuteronomy? Or? No, it's only the book of John. No. Yeah. Mo that's what Moses said it in the Tanakh. That if you would have... If you would have believed in Moses, you would have believed in me. Okay, maybe, sorry, maybe no. I'm confused. With yeah. what, what did Moses say, though? Should I go now and read it? I think so. Okay. I think that'll be a good idea. Okay. I think you should read the scripture for yourself, look yeah. for yourself. So this is a very unique video because what it clearly shows that you are both with, both visible, this means that you managed to put your hand on the video that the other guy took. We will get in a second to how you managed to do that, but let me understand, you basically quote verses over there from the New Testament. How did you become so knowledgeable with, with that? Not many Jews can, can do that. Right. I've done this all my life. Mm -hmm. I've been helping Jews who become Christians for 40 years, my entire life. I mean, I don't do anything you, else. You were helping Jews to become Christians? No, helping Jews who, who oh, are Christians, who have become Christians. Yeah. to come back mm -hmm. to the Jewish faith. That's my entire work. Mm -hmm. I have a very large YouTube channel, very large, millions of viewers, mm -hmm. just my name, Tovia Singer. And people around the world every day, 100,000 people a day watching me and are doing tshuva and are leaving the church. And as you saw there, I meet Christians, Jews who are Christians, who, this is a fellow named Block, come back to Judaism, learn more. Because the truth is, these Christians, you think know the Bible, but they really don't. Mm -hmm. They appear, they memorize certain verses that they get from these books, but in reality, they don't know Tanakh. And they often misquote them, the oh, we've exposed. Completely. So let's reveal the secret. How did you end up having this video? Let's take a look at another video that you made with this guy. Right. So now, do tell me, do okay. tell me. We met, we met just a couple of days ago. <laughs> She's only been married alone with each other a long time, I don't know. <laughs> it seems that way, it seems that way. So tell me about your faith, what's on your mind, what are your thoughts? Why would you even, even think about meeting me again? Um, because, uh, because the, the scripture that, that I'm familiar with says, be slow to speak, quick to listen, and that blessed are the peacemakers, they shall be called the children of God, and do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Right. and love your enemies. I'm not calling you my enemy, but I'm basically right. saying even if you are, you know, I'm willing to take that chance in the name of uh, Shalom. You know, like you, you know, one of the things that I think a lot of people are very surprised by is that you really cared about Scripture. I mean, when we were talking about the Bible, mm -hmm. right. like that's, that's what meant something to you. Mm -hmm. Well, this is amazing. So you managed to establish connections with those people. So you say that your main course of work is, uh, is uh, bringing back to Tshuva Jews who made the path, who were already convinced. Right. Where can I find uh, them to do the same work? Where, where are they? Are they among us? Uh, well, the most important work is actually not taking Jews out of the church. Mm -hmm. The most important thing I could do is to prevent Jews from ever getting involved in the church. Mm -hmm. Most of my viewers are Jewish people who did not become Christians, but have questions. 
so they watch. Also, I have a lot of non-Jewish viewers. Mm -hmm. So the most important thing is if I can prevent a Jew from getting involved in the church. This is a crazy story. This is a fellow named Peter. COVID closed the country down. Suddenly mm -hmm. I see a missionary on Ben Yehuda screaming like a crazy person, screaming to believe in Jesus. So I just went over to him and I said, tell me, why should I believe in Jesus? And he was shocked. He was nishtoiming that I would even ask such a question. And then I started to show him that all the verses he's quoting from are not real. They're not there. He misunderstood it. Mm -hmm. And there was a Kesha. We built a connection together. And then afterwards, I asked him. He had a, a camera on him. I had my cell phone. And I asked him for the video, which he gave me. And then I was able to put it up mm -hmm. so others can watch it. I don't know, maybe a, a half a million people have seen this video all over Israel. So it's fantastic. So the audience of the videos in your YouTube channel, it, it attracts not only Jews and not only Christians who are involved in missionary work, but also Christians in general that oh, are involved yeah. with this dialogue. A lot. It, it, it's worth men mentioning issues like the uh, the main discourses that ha that used to take place between, let's say, Martin Luther and Jews in the, in the 17th century, and, and great debates within uh, um, within the Spanish court in the 15th century, uh, during which Jews were n uh, demanded to explain and to justify their faith. Those are things that many Jews are not aware of, parts of our mm, history, right. but they are canonical in the Christian belief and what you are basically doing is speaking to billions of Christians around the world and reviving a dialogue with the Christian faith. Now my question to you, is, aren't you afraid that this would backfire at the end of the day? We're talking about enormous number of people of Christian believers who have got no, con who have got no connection to Ju Judaism whatsoever but once you open such a YouTube channel and expose yourself to such an enormous audience you might provoke missionary instead of preventing it. I can tell you this now, mm -hmm. the conversion programs in Israel and America and Canada are filled, packed mm -hmm. with people who have watched my videos and are now converting to Judaism. This was not my intent. Yeah, I get it. That means Jews for Jesus went to war with our people trying to convert us. Mm -hmm. I have to respond. But once I'm responding, Many, many Christians are going to watch and go, wow, I never knew this. Mm -hmm. I never saw this. So the consequences are that today, I don't know the number, but so many Christians have done tshuva and are becoming either b'nei noach, righteous chassidi umus olam, mm -hmm. or they're converting to Judaism, Judaism because of this. Right. The majority okay. of my audience are Christians. I have a lot of Muslim viewers. Mm -hmm. Muslims love me. <laughs> Crazy. Well, they also have to give answer to Christianity. To right. Some aspects, yeah. So our answers to the vikuach that you describe is the same as theirs. Mm -hmm. So they use it. So I have, they watch me in large numbers. So the consequences are staggering. But yeah. my intent is to prevent Jews from becoming Christians and to bring those Jews who are in the church, Rahman al-Islam, to bring them back. So Rabbi Tavi Zenger, the work that you're doing is extremely important and I want to thank you on behalf of myself and the Jewish people in general. And also thank you on behalf of Channel Tov for coming us and sharing uh, the details of your work with us. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. Shalom. ולכם צופים יקרים, אנחנו נגיד שוב תודה רבה שהייתם איתנו ונזמין אתכם להצטרף אלינו לתכנים נוספים גם בערוץ היוטיוב וגם באתר האינטרנט ובעמוד הפייסבוק ועד הפעם הבאה להתראות.